Welcome back to the Modern Retail Experience, the series that delves into the latest trends, market changes, and technological advancements that are shaping the world of retail. In this episode, we'll explore the complex world of supply chain management and its influence on customer experience. Learn how companies leverage data to track inventory movement, predict demand, and enhance efficiency, all while exploring how these insights help establish resilient supply chains that deliver an outstanding customer journey. So join us as we explore all that the modern retail experience has to offer and discover how retailers are using technology to stay ahead of the curve. You know, when it comes to data in the supply chain, especially for retailers, it really hits a lot of different parts of it. What we all consider, you know, sort of the low hanging fruit is how data impacts our ability to sense demand, right? So the customer side of the supply chain. But when you think about retail supply chains, data really is going to trickle through the entire supply chain. So yes, demand sensing, understanding what the customer is looking for, that's going to be sort of the crown jewel of where data is going to be focused. But we can now look at data. How is it going to work with regards to things such as logistics, fulfillment? How is it going to work with manufacturing, even back to sourcing? So the reality is that data has a long impact or a long tail impact throughout the entire retail supply chain. Data has emerged as a game changer in the supply chain industry enabling companies to gain deeper insights into inventory planning, demand forecasting, and distribution efficiency. By harnessing the power of data, companies can streamline their operations, gain a competitive edge, and meet customer demands with precision. Data provides real-time insights into the entire supply chain, allowing companies to track their products from the source to the customer and eliminating silos. Uh, one of the things that we find a lot of when we're talking to retailers, as an example, is various silos, whether it be merchandising, finance, or supply chain, all have various processes that they manage internally. And by unifying their data and eliminating those silos, it provides more accurate data-driven demand forecasting and minimizes the risk of overstocking or stockouts. Obtaining insight into your supply chain, whether that's inventory flow, demand forecasting, or even distribution efficiency is an absolute must. I mean, you need to be analyzing your process execution. You shouldn't be wasting any time or opportunity to learn about your supply chain. So the way to start thinking about it is, is your process fast? Is your process reliable? Are you able to manage this process long-term? That is the best way to kind of start thinking about these overarching questions. Part of the challenge is that there's so much data. Retailers need to learn how to maximize the value of their data. Many of our customers are still struggling with siloed enterprise data, uh, limited operational visibility, anonymous shoppers, and more. Retailers really can't manage what they can't see. So unifying disparate sources of data across the end-to-end -end shopping journey forms one holistic view of the consumer that retailers can then leverage to capture and aggregate data from multiple sources, analyze it for actionable insights, to help elevate the shopping experience, but also provide the requisite levels of operational agility to support customers in the increasingly complex path to purchase, whether they're going into the store and keeping brick and mortar more relevant with regard to replenishment or whether consumers continue to keep shopping online and getting it right in terms of last mile delivery. Robust supply chain brings a lot of value to both businesses and customers. Within the retail industry, an organization's supply chain is the lifeblood of their business. It's the factory that transforms raw materials into consumable products and then distributes those products all the way to the end customer, regardless of where they happen to be. In today's increasing world of cloud technology, automation, IoT, and now with generative AI, margins are getting leaner and leaner and competition is growing larger. Having a robust supply chain is proving to be more critical now more than ever before. Customers have had an increasingly easier time finding the goods that they want and ordering them with fewer barriers, whether that's going to a store and having the stuff or just fewer clicks to put it in your cart and make that impulse one time buy because some payment connector you already had set up means that I don't need to give you my information. I'm just signing out quickly. Those shoes I saw someone walking by in the airport, they're mine. 
We see that the digitally savvy consumer is driving a new revolution of retail with setting new expectations in terms of service and experience. And it's forcing retailers to really rethink their operating models and meet consumers in the flexible way that they want to shop, focus on enabling frictionless shopping experiences across the physical and digital channels. And there's a real opportunity for supply chain to power commerce uh, to get it right for the end consumer. All of us have horror stories of placing orders either online or into a store, and the inventory, the item that we thought was available was not, or the item we ordered and was told would arrive to us by a certain time doesn't. These are all really experiences that are related to your supply chain. How robust, how dynamic, how reactive is your supply chain. Most importantly, retailers are able to do all these things in a much profitable way, right? So you're gonna optimize your shipping costs, optimize your labor costs, optimize your uh, fill rates, optimize your inventory utilization, right? So these are all the benefits that retailers are seeing it by using the data in a right way and leveraging the power of the data. We talked about what role data is playing, but at the same time, the other things that uh, we see as significant factors that are influencing the better customer experience are the uses of automation, right from um, having the sensors that can sense your uh, auto stocks, uh, sensors that can sense the product qualities, the sensors that can sense whereabouts of the product, right? So having that right amount of visibility into the things that would normally require like huge amount of labor to detect it. And sometimes you will not be even able to detect it, right? So using this IoT and uh, using the sensors and using the automation in a right way, the businesses are able to get end-to-end -end visibility throughout the product journey and also to get right business insights at the right time. Our retail customers leveraging data and AI are able to enhance forecast accuracy, facilitate better sourcing with vendors, improve vendor collaboration, and sync for replenishment purposes uh, when demand signals change. And we see that data is really you know, foundational in terms of applying generative AI and making all that goodness possible to help optimize and unlock the full potential of supply chains, providing access to unstructured dark data, giving planners better tools. There's tremendous potential to accelerate supply chain optimizations and grow rapid time to value all leveraging data and insights. You know, when I look to the next 10, 15 years when it comes to our supply chains and in retail in particular, I think the one thing I'm encouraged by, the ability to have greater levels of collaboration within our supply chains for retailers and all their partners within it. You might have a new supplier you use for one new line of products and then you never see them again. You might have a distributor because you're going to a different market just for one season or for a couple of years, and then you never use that supplier again. So the reality is the ability for retailers to lean on their supply chain, to leverage the amount of data that's out there, but do so in an intelligent way, to create a much more open network, not a supply chain, but a supply network. I think that's really exciting for, for retailers moving forward because those that can harness it are gonna be able to do a lot of different things. In our next episode, as part of the Data Drivers series, discover how businesses harness diverse data sources to craft a holistic view of their operations, customer journeys, and market trends. To learn more about the Retail Cloud Alliance, don't forget to click the link below and subscribe to our channel so you're first in line to watch the latest episodes.